Hi friends, welcome to Excel Tips and Tricks. Formatting is one of the important aspects of uh, Excel we must learn. So through formatting we can achieve the presentability of the data, our dashboard or uh, an Excel chart and many more. So in this video we are going to discuss few important elements of formatting. So we have several sections of formatting like in the home button you have uh, font, you have alignment, you have numbers, styles, cells, editing and so many. But all these, along with all these, we have few more elements which are not available in the command ribbon or the tabs. We can achieve through a simple shortcut that is called control 1. Once I press control 1, one dialog box appears wherein I can do so many uh, activities wherein I have, I, I can do the number formatting, I can do the alignment, I can do the font alignment, font formatting, I can do the border formatting, fill, protection, protecting the workbook, etc. So in this video, I'm going to discuss few important elements of uh, number formatting uh, based on requests received from few group members and friends which are scientific, fraction and text. So these are the options I am going to discuss. First let us discuss about fraction formatting. So usually we uh, enter numbers into the cell like 12, 13, 14 etc. or sometimes along with decimals that is 12.5, 12.6 etc. and sometimes only decimals which is 0.5 and 0.6 etc. and I wanted to write a number as a fraction 0.5 can be written as 1 by 2 and I wanted to write uh, the 0.5 as 1 by 2 if I wanted to write that the moment I write and press enter it will get converted into the date. That means by default and without applying any formatting to a particular cell if you enter 1 by 2 into that cell and wanted to see the result that result will be converted as by default as date. So remove that number, control 1, go to fraction and apply the first option and we will be discussing other options as well press OK and then you press 1 by 2 and that will be taken as 1 by 2 and the result in the uh, formula bar as 0.5 so this can be done while uh, attempting the format of uh, fraction we have seen the first option which is up to one digit 1 by 4 so it, it is either by 1 by 2 1 by 4 or whatever only single digit will be there so there are other options available which are like uh, up to two, two digits, up to three digits, you can extend your fraction in such a way that it can show more digits. And also uh, halves, quarters, eights and sixteens basically you are deciding the denominator by either two, four or eight or sixteen. And and then tens and hundreds. So your denominator will be hundreds. If you, if you put any fraction, if you apply these different uh, options what are available here, if you apply the option of 2 by 4, any, you, number, you put any number, the denominator will appear as 4 and accordingly the fraction will be adjusted and the decimal value will come. So these are the few options which are available on this uh, screen. Apart from that, once you apply the fraction formatting and you can do certain customizing through the custom option wherein you can decide how the length of the digit can be and how the denominator should be and so on. Now let us see the options uh, available within fraction formatting. So the first three options are talking about one digit, two digits and three digits option. So obviously you can show the fraction in such a fashion where you can create uh, the fraction to be with two digits or one digit or three digits. So currently we are seeing here as one digit uh, fraction. We can convert this into two digit fraction as well. Just take that up to two digits, 20 by 21 by 25, that is only the format option. Press OK. The format has been changed to 13 by 42 instead of 1 by 3. 
and then let us uh, select the third option called three digits option the digits are been now changed to 160 by 533 so this way the first three options can be used so with this with these three options you can show the fraction with single digit or two two digits or three digits so your numerator and denominator also can be converted into up to three digits so other options like uh, halves quarters eighths and sixteenths where you wanted to fix the denominator as a single and then your numerator will change for example if I go to halves and convert the same uh, fraction into half fraction so where the value will be 1 by 2 but it is not ex exactly 0 0.5 it's actually 0 0.3 but the fraction will take the nearest value and accordingly it will get adjusted the same way if you go to as quarters your denominator will be 4 and if you go to 8th denominator will be 8 and if you go to 16 the denominator will be 16 so these four options you are basically deciding what the denominator should be so accordingly the uh, numerator will be changing but it, it will not be the giving the exact value of the decimal but it is giving an approximate near near value beyond that you have another two options called tens and hundreds so obviously you wanted to decide that the numerator sorry the denominator will be 10 or 100 so accordingly your format will be changing so it is 30 by 31 by 100 because it's 0 0.309 so obviously it is 31 by 100 and if it is by tens it is point uh, maybe it is 3 by 10 that way so these are all the available options but I wanted to see few options which are uh, can be achieved through a customized way so two important things you must know before getting into the customized option that is Excel round the fraction if it cannot display the right fraction suppose if has it has got 0.3 and if I am wanted to convert into the fraction and one digit fraction it's showing a 7 2 by 7 2 by 7 is not necessarily 0.3 it is 0.35 but it doesn't have the right fractions obviously it will convert accordingly uh, the fraction in its convenient way so it's not exact the second thing is by default a fraction reduces its uh, denominator to the smallest for example uh, I'm creating one uh, fraction I'm just uh, selected fraction said okay I'm writing 2 by 8 the fraction is automatically converting it to uh, what do you call uh, 1 by 4 then I have a, a decision I have a, a option to convert this into only 8 where I uh, go to control 1 and just go to as 8 if I choose that the option will go to the 2 by 8 so that is the reason why these options are available for us now beyond that there are 2-3 or uh, more options that we have uh, to understand that is a proper fraction which is 1 and 1 by 2 this kind of option so I have already given uh, fraction formatting to this uh, cell that is why this uh, fraction has been written like this so what I am writing is 1 and then 1 by 2 this kind of uh, fractions also we were writing right this can be done and second thing is how to customize the format uh, of the fraction that is after creating this I can just go to custom and then I can create my own denominator like in the earlier uh, uh, we have shown that uh, where we can change the denominator the way we want like 2 4 8 and 16 which are available but I can put 15 as a denominator for that purpose what I need to do is I want to see how many digits I want divided by I want to see say two digits and then divided by 15 so the moment the fraction will get changed to 23 by 15 so I'm deciding the denominator on my own beyond that I can customize the format to more than three digits as well if you see the options in the fraction 
uh, formatting there is only one digit two digits and three digits we can change it to four digits as well for that i can just create one formula like small fraction 0.35647891010 whatever it is and then control one first give the fraction percentage fraction format and then go to custom control one custom and say the question mark is a wild card for the fraction if i do the fraction can be converted into four digits as well so these are all the options available in fraction formatting and hope you understand and if you have any questions please ask so that i can clarify your doubts because the formatting is based on your imagination and based on your necessity of the presentation so it not it will not be universal for everybody so obviously the person who is really using that option should be knowing that the why he wanted to use it so obviously i may not be able to touch that point and if you can if you can ask questions to me i can give you a right answer more in specific thank you for watching and in next two videos i am completing uh, what do you call uh, two options which are scientific and text thank you